Hallo, Didier Stevens hier, Senior Handler at the Internet Storm Center. This video is for a diary entry here about the analysis of a malicious file, HTML file, that reader Eric submitted, and uh, it contains a Qbot uh, DLL. Let me show you. So, when Eric submitted this, he told us inside this HTML file, there are some uh, strange base64 pictures. So let's have a look. And indeed here we have a large one. So let me use option N for a minimum length of 10 for the items. And indeed here we have two pictures, a GIF file and a SVG file. So let me select the first one. Yeah, it has a very high entropy, 7.99, almost uh, 8 and the maximum value. So this could indeed be a picture. And uh, it doesn't contain long strings, you see. This is something new that I added to this uh, version of uh, Base64 dump, version 0024. Okay, so that picture at a uh, very superficial inspection looks okay let's take a look at the other one yeah. entropy six um, only printable bytes and white space and then here a very long sequence almost 600,000 bytes of uh, base 64 uh, digits so that's another layer then of base 64 that we have to decode so i'm just doing a binary dump and piping this again into another instance of base64 dump okay yeah here we see one very large one pk so fill cats eh? zip file so let's say n10 okay only one so select one and dump this into my zip dump tool to analyze the zip file and we get an error. Bad password for file contract copy dot ISO. Okay, so it contains an ISO file. The password that must be in the HTML. So let's grab for password. Indeed, here you have document password. So let's see what comes after that. Let's look at the 10 lines that follow that. And here we have abc333 that's probably the password let's try that password abc333 and indeed that's a password so i select this iso file do a binary dump and pipe this into iso dump a tool to analyze iso files and here it only finds a readme.txt file and if i select that file it's indeed a, a text file, a standard text file. <laughs> so ISO dump uses a, a library, uh, PATLAB, to read ISO files, but it's not capable of uh, reading secondary uh, volume descriptors because it's very unlikely that this malicious document, uh, when you see this sequence, uh, it's clear that this is malicious and it's very unlikely that it just contains a text file. What I expect here inside the ISO file is a DLL. So what I'm going to do is run my PE check tool that analyzes PE files, but I'm going to let it carve it, the input searching for PE files. And here we have one 32 bit DLL. Let me copy the hash here and look that up on virus total. And indeed, it exists on virus total. And uh, here, yeah, looks like this is a Qbot. So, don't really have to do any further uh, analysis on that one. <coughs> now, let's come back here. So, another tool that you can use to analyze uh, ISO files is uh, 7-zip. 
Now I will show you the command that I would like to work with 7 zip, but unfortunately it doesn't. And that is to say standard input uh, that, that works and do a listing. That works for several different types of archive like 7 zip zip, but it doesn't work for ISO. You see, listing archive that's not implemented. So what I have to do is write this as a file to disk and then you can analyze it with 7-zip. So let's say iso.vir and then I can um, run 7-zip listing of the ISO file and as you can see here a link file javascript cmd file jpeg file stickers to that and that is actually the the dll okay now let me try to show you that secondary volume descriptor of the iso file i will show you that with binary editor 010 there we go so I'm going first of all do an hexadecimal dump, a pure hexadecimal dump of the ISO file. This here. I paste this into the clipboard and then I can create a new file here. Paste from hexadecimal and then I have the ISO file here inside the editor without actually ha having to create a, a file and then i can go to templates drives and say this is an iso file and then the template will pass the binary data and here you have the structures inside the iso file uh, here you can see the the file names uh, the folder and the file names that we saw and here this is the primary volume descriptor but here we have a secondary volume descriptor and that is the one that actually contains these files while this one here contains the, the readme and, and the txt file so here you have the, the first one here is the, the second one and then if I scroll on here as you can see here is the content of that readme file that is in the first descriptor and then after that here we, we have the file names that, that appear in, in the second descriptor.